Good morning children. Today we shall learn about charging and discharging of objects. If you try to put on a woolen sweater while your hair is dry, your hair will stand straight. Do it in the dark and you may see a small spark and hear a crackling sound. This phenomena is actually same as lightning. That small spark while putting on sweater and during lightning both are caused by the same reason these are caused by the accumulation of charges how do accumulated charge produce the streak of bright light let us find the answer comb your dry hair with a dry plastic comb now take the comb near small pieces of paper you will see the comb will attract the paper pieces this is because the comb has acquired some charges because of rubbing with dry hair so now the comb is a charge object the comb attracted the pieces of paper because charged object attracts uncharged object in the process of charging the plastic comb the hair also get charged we already know about electric current it is nothing more than a flow of these charges when we combed dry hair the plastic comb gained small charge but it couldn't flow away as plastic is non conductor material when charges created in an object cannot flow then the stationary electric charge is called static electricity we often create such charge or static electricity by rubbing two materials such charge can be positive or negative when we create static electricity by rubbing two objects say we rub a balloon with woolen cloth then one object gets positive charge and the other gains negative charge let us perform a small fun experiment to understand the charges we take two balloons and hang them close to each other balloons are not touching each other as you can see now we rub both the balloons with cloth which means both the balloons get same kind of charge now let us release them we would find that the balloons are repelling each other it means same kind of charges repel each other just like north pole of the magnet repels another north pole and opposite charges attract each other how to know whether an object is charged or not let us make a small device for that take a small glass jar a cardboard which is slightly bigger in size than the mouth of the glass jar one metallic paper clip two small aluminum foil strips around 4 to 5 cm long and 1 cm wide next open out the clip and insert two aluminum foil strips at one end make sure the two strips are close but not touching each other we insert the other end of the clip in the cardboard so that it is perpendicular to it and it is hanging down from the cardboard place the cardboard as the lid of the jar if we touch a charged object with the metal clip see what happens the aluminum foil strips are repelling each other it means they acquired same kind of charge which means charge from the charged body have flown into them so we can say electrical charge can be transferred from a charged body to another through a metal conductor next if we touch the paper clip the aluminum foils would come back to the normal position means they lost the electric charge we say the foil strips are discharged now 
So what exactly happened here? When we touched the clip, the charge from the strips flowed through the metal clip, then through our body to the earth. When charge from a charged body transfers to the earth, we call that process earthing. You know, such a simple device can be used to test whether an object is carrying charge or not. This device is known as electroscope. In buildings, there are cables which go into the ground for providing earthing support. If somehow electric current leaks into the wall because of damaged wire, the electric charge would go straight into the ground through these cables and no one would get electric shock. Thus, Earthing is provided in the buildings to protect us from electrical shocks due to any leakage of electrical current. So to sum up what we learned today, some objects can be charged by rubbing with other objects. There are two kinds of charges, positive charge and negative charge. Like charges repel and unlike charges attract each other. The electrical charges produced by rubbing are called static charges. When charges move, they constitute an electric current. An electroscope may be used to detect whether a body is charged or not. The process of transfer of charge from a charged object to the earth is called earthing. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.